Hey y'all, with Thanksgiving coming right around the corner, I'm gonna do things a little bit differently. Normally, I would make a video a week, post them, and send them out, and you guys could make things if you wanted to, but with the holidays coming up, I figure I'm gonna do a string of videos today, uh, one after the other, and maybe tomorrow if I give out. <laughs> but I'm gonna do those videos all kind of in a row and release them at one time and then I probably won't release for a week or two. Uh, reason being, I figured it would be easier for you if you decided to make these items to have the videos already set up. Uh, if I were, were releasing things the week of Thanksgiving, that wouldn't give you a lot of time to get prepped. So, that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna make ham, Ham gravy from scratch, mashed potatoes, corn casserole, cornbread dressing, mac and cheese, divinity, and lemon meringue pie. I've already made a video showing some appetizers, which was the uh, my grandma's sausage balls, my aunt's sausage balls that uh, Bisquick stole from her, and um, my nanny's punch, which. You know, those two are, are family traditions and I'm glad to share them with you. I hope you guys enjoy them too. So, without further ado, let's cook. All right, so now we're gonna focus in on the macaroni and cheese. You're gonna need about half a pound of pasta. I prefer the shells, but if you like elbow, it'll work just fine. Uh, you're gonna need about three tablespoons of butter, uh, about two tablespoons of minced garlic, three eggs, 12 ounces of evaporated milk, one half teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one and a half cups of sharp cheddar, one and a half cups of gouda, and half a cup of Parmesan. So here's how we do that. We've got water on the stove coming up to a boil. We're gonna cook our pasta till it's pretty much done, uh, which let's take a look at the box here. It says 13 to 15 minutes, so with all pastas, I always take at least a minute off the lowest time, so we're gonna cook this for about 11 to 12 minutes. Uh, then we're gonna drain it. But until then, we're gonna go ahead and start assembling everything else. You're gonna need your three eggs in the bowl, whisked together. We're gonna go ahead and add uh, the evaporated milk, 12 ounces of evaporated milk. Uh, make sure that's thoroughly incorporated. We're gonna add the salt, cayenne pepper, the cheese, and the macaroni, or the macaroni when it's done, and the garlic. So let's go ahead and add our garlic in. our melted butter. Our salt, which is half a teaspoon. Black pepper which probably about half a teaspoon will be fine there too. And a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, or really any kind of uh, spicy pepper that you may prefer. If you have a brand that you, or a type of pepper that you like better than cayenne, like say Chipotle, that would work just fine too. Now we got all that mixed, let's go ahead and add in our cheese and get it set up. All 
All right. Now, uh, you may have noticed that some of the cheese was in chunks, some of it was shredded. I kind of like the different uh, consistencies of having the big blocks of cheese and the small blocks of cheese. If you prefer it all to be uniform, then shred it all. Um, but I couldn't find Gouda that was already shredded. And only, uh, only kind I could find was actually sliced, so I had to just kind of chunk it up a little bit. But now we wait for the pasta. All right, so we're back on our macaroni and cheese. We've got our, our greased dish, which is about a two quart dish. We've got our drained pasta that we're going to add to our cheese mixture. And mix that up a good bit. I'm gonna try to spill some on the counter because that's what makes you cool. All the cool kids are spilling stuff on the counter. All right. So let's take this and add it here to our dish. We're gonna cook this at 350 for about roughly 40 minutes. And we're gonna check and make sure that everything's the way that we like it. Then we're gonna add some breadcrumbs to the top of it, toast it off for another 10 minutes or so, and we're ready to go. So let's throw this in the oven. So we've got our Mac pretty much done. Looks really nice, but I can never leave well enough alone. So I'm gonna add some breadcrumbs to the top here and toast that off for about 10 more minutes and we should be good to go. Okay guys, so here's the final product. This is our cornbread dressing, our corn casserole, our mashed potatoes, our mac and cheese, and our pineapple glazed smoked ham, and the gravy. I'm gonna put a plate together, let you see what it all looks like together, and then I'm gonna go die somewhere. All right, here's our final dish. We've got our glazed ham, mac and cheese, potatoes, dressing, corn casserole. I hope everybody has a good uh, holiday feast. And remember, celebrate the indigenous. Thanks for watching. And tomorrow, maybe, I'll work on desserts. Thanks, guys. You're still here? Why? Look, I showed you how to make an entire Thanksgiving dinner. I don't know what more you want from me. Maybe next week or something, I'll, I'll make some dessert videos. But I think you've got enough out of me for this week. Well, folks, it's time to call it night. Do what you feel and keep both feet on the wheel. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. So till next time. I'm evil. You're not. Get the fuck out and take a plate with you. It's a lot of fucking food.